The universe is a reflection of consciousness. Everything in your life, your reality and your experiences is like an audition for your attention, just to celestial bodies orbit around the sun. Your thoughts, feelings, perceptions and sensations depend entirely on the energy you invest. That what you ignore ceases to exist in your experiential realm. The challenge arises from the unconsciousness with which we often navigate this process. Anything that transpires in your life need not become your experience if you choose not to lend it your attention. This may sound counterintuitive, but it's a fact worth considering. When you refuse to invest your attention, events and circumstances lose their impact on your vibrational frequency. In the realm of the law of attraction, thoughts are often touted as creators of reality. However, thoughts in and of themselves are empty vessels, they simply vie for your attention. You hold the power to energize them by saying yes or dismiss them with a no thank you. Thoughts direct the flow of your energy, determining the universe's response. Thus, the key to speaking with the universe lies in directing your energy toward thoughts that resonate with positivity and ignoring those that emanate negativity. Number one on our journey to speak to the universe is paying attention to your attention. From the moment you enter this world, the universe inquires, what do you want? To effectively communicate your desires to the universe, understand the language of energy it speaks. The universe doesn't discern languages. It reads your vibrational reactions. Any reaction you offer to the universe is seen as a, yes, please give me more of that. Understanding this dynamic is akin to mastering the art of selective engagement. Much like a skilled conductor directing an orchestra, we must choose which thoughts and emotions to amplify through our attention. When we elect to focus our intention on a particular aspect of our reality, we are in essence casting a vote for its amplification. Conversely, by withholding our attention from specific thoughts of circumstances, we convey a message to the universe that we are disinterested or opposed to their presence in our experience. This profound realization underscores our immense power in the co-creation of our reality. Our attention serves as the conduit through which we communicate our preferences to the universe, dictating the composition of our life symphony. Moving on to the second aspect, think and speak in the present tense. The universe in its infinite wisdom recognizes only the now as reality, as everything unfolds in the present moment. Past and future thoughts may arise, but they are like echoes, while the present is where the universe listens intently. When we contemplate the universe as a manifestation of consciousness, we realize that the very act of thinking is a form of communication with this expansive entity. However, the universe comprehends our thoughts and feelings differently than we might initially perceive. Consider this, if you repeatedly say, I will be successful. The universe hears, I don't want success right now. Instead, feel as if you already possess what you seek. Every conceivable reality already exists, including what you desire. Feel as if you already achieved it, and the universe will begin to shape your reality accordingly. The profound implication is that we need to feel as though we already possess what we aim to attract. Every potential reality exists in the vast tapestry of existence, including the one we seek. By immersing ourselves in the present moment, feeling as if we've already achieved our desires, we begin to synchronize our vibrational frequency with the universe's creative forces. Thus, communication with the universe involves not just the articulation of desires, but the embodiment of those desires in the now. Continuing our quest to understand how to speak to the universe, we reach the crucial step of expanding your consciousness. To do so is akin to acquiring expertise in a complex game where the rules are not always evident. Life unlike a linear story is a dynamic and interactive game and your level of mastery is determined by your awareness of its multifaceted dimensions. Consider this analogy. When you engage in a poker game with seasoned players, those who are novices can easily fall prey to their strategic maneuvers. In a similar vein, as you expand your consciousness and become aware of the myriad variables in the universe, 
you enhance your ability to navigate the complexities of life. It's akin to learning the unspoken rules of the game, enabling you to make well-informed decisions and ultimately to gain greater control over your own reality. The process of expanding your consciousness entails broadening your awareness, awareness of your inner self, your thought patterns, and the universe that surrounds you. In this game of existence, the more variables you uncover and understand, the better equipped you become to play it skillfully. By embracing this expanded awareness, you transition from being a passive player to an active participant, making informed choices that align with your desired reality. Our fourth step is listening to your guidance system, which serves as your compass in the vast universe of energy. The universe doesn't understand human languages. It converses in the language of energy, Thoughts and words often prove unreliable as they rarely align with your true inner state. Your feelings, your gut, your intuitive responses, they serve as your guidance system. When something feels good, it resonates with your true path. Conversely, when it feels bad, it indicates a divergence from your authentic self. The guidance system hinges on resonance. Follow what resonates with you, ignore what doesn't, and do not grant significance to what induces negativity. The egoic mind may attempt to convince you that following it will lead to pleasure. However, it's vital to discern the difference between ego-driven desires and true resonance. If it feels good, trust it. If it feels bad, release it. By consistently following the breadcrumb trail of what feels good, you align yourself with your true path, eliminating the need for overthinking. Now let's delve into our fifth and final step, harnessing the power of repetition. To fathom the universe's workings, peer into the realm of your subconscious mind, which mirrors the universe's modus operandi. The law of attraction primarily draws from your subconscious. It disregards the fleeting thoughts of your conscious mind, which continually fleet between various subjects. Your subconscious mind, unlike the conscious one, lacks the capacity to reject information. It remains impartial, impartially validating all viewpoints. The subconscious cannot differentiate between reality and imagination, often evoking emotions as if past events were unfolding in the present. It's essential then to remain grounded in the present and avoid dwelling on past wounds for lingering there can attract similar experiences and perpetuate old mistakes. Moreover, the subconscious lacks intentionality. It's merely a repository of stored data. It absorbs what garners the most attention, including the sum of your social conditioning and personal experiences. Your subconscious does not filter unhealthy thoughts. That responsibility falls upon your shoulders. Utilizing the power of repetition, you can actively reprogram your subconscious beliefs. Suppose you aspire to transform from insecurity to confidence, repeatedly affirming, I am the most confident person in the world, can be your mantra. The key lies in not merely parroting empty words, but in genuinely feeling the confidence you seek. Here it's essential to recognize that your present state is irrelevant. Your focus should be on what you aspire to become. By persistently reinforcing positive affirmations, they begin to coalesce energetically. Subsequently, your subconscious grasps this shift and starts manifesting it in your field of experience. As you truly feel more confident, your actions, behavior, and words will naturally reflect this newfound confidence. In conclusion, remember this fundamental truth. You are the universe, and speaking to the universe equates to speaking to your higher self. You hold the reins of your existence, you are in control. Investigate your internal state, cleanse yourself, and purify your being. The universe reflects your inner state. By taking charge and aligning your consciousness with positivity, you communicate effectively with the universe. Your reality is your canvas, and you are the artist.